new John Mayer song is played in the key of G at 120 beats per minute. You need acoustic guitar and regular tuning, electrical guitar and regular tuning, and some effects, reverb, chorus and delay. So if you fancy John Mayer, I've got a video coming up about his best fingerstyle songs through the years, so from his very first album to his last one. So please subscribe to see that video. Off to the song. Okay, here is the new single of John Mayer, Love on the Weekend. I'm gonna teach you how to play it on a guitar, on the electrical guitar and on the acoustic guitar. We start off on the electrical guitar, sound with delay, reverb and chorus, make it nice and lush. And the intro is played with a melody on top of two chords, a G and a C. So please read along with the tap, it's easy, it's not that hard. You play a fret number three on the second string and your middle finger plays fret number three on the sixth. You start off just in front of the first beat on the four and one, two, three, four and and then you play the bass note a G. One, two, three, four and one, two, three. And then you play the sixth string right after on the first beat of the song. On the second beat you play the second string again on fret three so we don't move our fingers yet. Back to the sixth and back to the second. the open E string, string one. And I incorporate the bass note because without the bass notes it sounds kind of silly. <laughs> and then to fret number two on the third string. You play the same rhythm, so on the four and you play the two with the same bass note, the G. B string, so you do the same, but then one string down. And then to fret number two on the D string. And then you change your root note to a C because there the chord changes to a C chord. So from the top it sounds like this. You play the C and then the E for number two on the fourth string. And then open G string, open D string, and fret two on the D string again. And then on the first beat of the fourth bar, you play the C again, the root note, and then the D on the two end. And that's it. And then you repeat it once. So it sounds like this, played slowly. to the verse where you just place two chords in an arpeggiated motion. Like that. So he changes it around a little bit. This is the main part. You can shift it around, make it easier, make it harder for yourself. It's not, it always sounds good because it's just two chords. A G and a C at nine. It starts off with a G, the same as uh, from the intro. And what we do, sixth string, second string, the third string, and the second string again. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and. And on the four and you play the third string again. One, two, three, four, and. play double tempo, so eighth notes instead of quarter notes. And then he plays around with the fret two on the third string. He does it quite often in the song, in the verses, so the C chord is always a little bit different, but this is the first one, so I'm just showing you that and you can change it around a little bit. That's the first, that's the first two beats. And then so you play the fifth string, the third, the second, the third again, back to the fifth, your root note, and then your index 
next finger frets number two on the third string. And then you play the second string again on the last four end. And the last bar of the verse is just like this. Two times up, two times down. So the verse slowly sounds like this. So slowly. tempo 120 beats per minute by the way and you repeat that part twice then we go to the chorus and the chorus is made up of two chords a D and a C a D5 And the D is just played with uh, three strings, the D string, the G string and the B string. And you play them down. So one, two, and then back to the D string, the G string and the D string again. And you play that twice. And then you go to the C chord and you play. So one, two, three and four and so on the three and you start the same downward motion and the second bar is played like this I don't think he really thought about the motion of the chords he just played them and recorded them I think so I don't think you should learn the exact way of playing these chords because that that would be a waste of time you just have to you just have to play them arpeggiated. The D and the C. You can do whatever you like. No. There is a bridge as well played on the actual guitar and that sounds like this. One, two, three. something like that and it is played like this with a G sus 4 in the beginning fret 7 8 and 8 on this third second and first string play two times starting with an upward motion and then a regular G play in D shape 7 8 7 and then you only play the second and the third string so 7 and 8 And then you do the same. And then you go to the C chord, 9 and 8 on the 3rd and the 2nd string. C9. Wow, C at 9. I think he plays it on the B. So, and that is everything the electric guitar does in this song. So now off to the acoustic guitar. So the intro is played with three chords, G, and the starting pattern is always the same. The starting pattern is this. So the first three bars are exactly identical. It's down, down, up, down, up. Down, down. Up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And on the down, on the fourth beat, you play a muted drum. Yeah, so. And every fourth bar, you don't mute it, but you play just an open chord at that fourth bar. So the fourth bar is like this. Got it? Very good. So. After the intro. So we start off on the G, one, two, three, four, and then to a G at nine, which I suggest you play like this. You play the G with your middle finger, a ring, 
and pinky. And you omit the A string. That's not a cool string to play in a G chord. And then you play your second fret on your third string with your index finger. G at nine. Or basically a G sus two, because we don't play a major note in this chord. And then we go to the C. Play two bars. So the intro sounds like this. Well, you get the point, I think, two times. And then to the verse, which is pretty easy as well, the G chord and the C at nine. Just change your uh, middle and index finger one string down to the fifth and the fourth. So G two times. One, two, three. And then to C at nine. One, two, three, four. That's the verse you play two times. And then we go to the chorus. D and C. chorus two times and then we go back to the beginning and we repeat everything again and that takes us to the bridge the bridge is the same as the verse acoustically wise so G and a C at 9 and then back to the verse again which is the same as the verses so the same and then the chorus and then to the outro and the outro is the same as the intro so that is everything of the acoustic guitar. Yeah, that's everything. So have a nice day and see you next time. Cheers, bye bye.